Hello friends, this is Manu Shuptani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. It's been a fantastic morning outside and I'm sure that you guys must be enjoying your life and your complete surroundings to the fullest. Perfect guys. So let's head start with the first topic of the day and that will be computer assisted audit techniques that is cats so guys one thing i need to make you understand that the overall objective and the scope of the audit does not change does not change when the audit is conducted only on the cis environment we still used to do the audit in manually systems as well okay earlier and we used to have that same kind of programming in our mind that we need to form our opinion on the financial statements same thing is being done today also okay so the overall objective and the scope of the auditing does not change basically if we have like moved from manual system to the computerized system it doesn't change the kind of way we uh, objectify and the way we provide the scope of our auditing it doesn't change at all okay the only thing and the only betterment has been done is a way that we don't need to go for all those ledgers in the manual forms okay now we can relax and sit back and we can do with our auditing primarily sitting on our laptops and visiting the client okay that's the only ease which they have provided us the application of all those auditing procedures may however require the auditor to consider the techniques known as computer assisted audit techniques that use basically the computer as a audit tool for enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency of all those audit procedures and this is why this cats are in place so guys now you will be thinking as to what are cats actually what the what do they mean cats are guys basically these are the computer programs okay and these are the data that you as an auditor use as a part of your audit procedures to process the data which is of your audit significance and which is contained in the entity's information system now people usually ask me up that sir okay what is the use of cats then these are the six major uses of all if in case you incorporate cats in your auditing procedures so number one is the test of detail of transaction number two analytical procedures number three test of general controls number four sampling programs number five test of application controls and number six reperforming calculations so what do i mean by the test of detail of the transaction of balances okay for example guys you use up a software okay for recalculating some of your interest interest on some of the loans or you need to let's say extract some of your invoices okay over a certain value from the computer records will it be feasible for you if in case you are going for the manual system that will be very 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 difficult okay i i am telling you but if in case you are having your computer systems available in place okay then you can get these test of detail of transaction for any minute detail okay on a sample basis anywhere you want through that computer system that is why cats are important number 2 is the analytical procedures okay by analytical procedures i simply mean that there are some of the like say i want to identify some of the inconsistencies okay or some of the insignificant insignificant kind of fluctuations or like significant kind of fluctuations which have happened in your sale records so i can simply go for that analytical procedure with respect to one particular domain area if in case i have got computer assisted audit techniques in place through manual system it's going to be very 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 tedious and very difficult next comes the test of the general controls so for example uh, in case of test of general controls i can have the testing of the setup and the configuration of the operating system or i can say that if in case you want to go for the access procedures to any of the program libraries by using some of the code comparison software to check whether the version of that program is in use with the version which is approved by the management or not so you can check in that case whether the company is using the latest kind of version or not and whether the same is being like approved by the management to check you can check that up if in case you are having cats in place and thereby you can go for test of the general controls as well next comes the sampling program so if in case you want to adopt some of the samples okay i just want that lot size of 50 out of that 50 lakh you can go for that if in case you are having computer assisted audit techniques in place so you can go for the sampling procedures as well sampling programs they can be used to extract the data for audit testing so we in big fours usually have this sample programs in my company it used to be random so random was the name of the software and we used to get the sample programs cybershot and uh, random so uh, we used to get that next comes the 
test of application control so what's going to happen in this particular case is uh, for example you want to test uh, the functioning of any of the particular program control then can you do that manual system absolutely not you won't be able to do that whether the same program control is working perfectly or not whether the functioning is done in an appropriate manner or not so you need to have that test of application controls and for that you need to use computer assisted audit techniques only then you'll be able to do that and lastly re-performing calculations if in case something is happening with that particular system you have already completed that manually now you need to reassess that whether you have performed that calculation in the most appropriate way or not and whether the same is accurate and complete then computer assisted audit techniques again that's going to help you up in your re-performing calculations as well so guys these some of those n number of marvelous users you can have why cat is being used test of detail of transaction analytical procedures test of general controls sampling programs test of application controls and re-performing calculations these are just a basic few like i've told you okay there are n number of users again so this list is just not exhaustive so guys this was all about computer assisted audit techniques so this was all about its users. I'll be covering the remaining and the last miscellaneous portion of this particular chapter in my next forthcoming presentation. And with that, this chapter is going to be ending in that particular presentation. So all you need to do is just revise your topic because that is something which is extremely crucial. My efforts, my entire thing, the entire mindset with which I am making you study, with which I am making you understand each one topic over here, will be futile, will go in vain if in case you don't revise and retain topic. So it is very much important, not just for you guys, but for me as well, because you are my students and I want each one of you to clear your final exam and be a chartered accountant like me so that I can probably say that, yes, he was my student or she was my student and they filled up completely and they banged it up. Perfect. So do revise your topic because that is something which is extremely crucial. With this, I'll say thank you on behalf of the Edupedia world. Keep interacting via questions, queries in YouTube comment boxes. I would love to answer each one of your queries and grievances. If in case you have liked our video, do give us a thumbs up. It will act as a motivation booster for us as well. Till then, take care. Sayonara. God bless you all. Bye.